Hi there, today we're unboxing a condenser microphone. So this particular one is by a company called Tonnel and details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So it comes in a plain brown box, just their branding on there, nothing more. So let's open it up and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out all the items you get in the packaging, so let me quickly go through them one by one. So initially you have a user manual. If I open that up, you can see it's multi-language. Going over to the next page, you've got some specification details here regarding the actual condenser mic. And the rest of it is just details about setting this up. So it looks pretty straightforward from what I've seen. Okay, the next item is the actual condenser microphone itself. So build quality feels good on there, not too large, reasonable size to it. Got a chrome finish here and a grill at the top and it's all quite tough. If I squeeze it, it doesn't easily move. All black finish towards the bottom, you've got branding and the actual model. And if I come underneath, you've got the connection point there for the cabling. So build quality feels good on this. Okay, so the next item is the adjustable suspension scissor arm. So that's the item here. Obviously, you've got the connector up here for the actual condenser mic and the other end here. And it feeds in within the actual metal framework of this. Okay, and if I open it up, it's quite a good build quality to it and quite firm. You've got a locking mechanism here so you can lock it into place. If you loosen it, it'd be easier to open and close. So if I bring it around here and tighten it, it stays in place quite well. And a good feel to it. It doesn't easily flip open or anything. Okay, and cable quality wise, seems quite good. And good chunky connectors on there. So very good build quality to this. Okay, so the next thing to show is the actual desk mount clamp. So this attaches to the adjustable suspension scissor arm and it clamps to your desk so it stays in position. They recommend less than 1.85 inches in terms of size here to be able to successfully clamp this securely to your desk. So build quality is good, all metal. You've got a locking bolt here and obviously the arm here to lock it to your desk and a bit of padding there obviously to avoid damage to your desk. So good build quality to this as well. Okay, so the next thing to show is the actual shock mount. So build quality of this is quite good, all metal as well. And just to show, if I hold onto the clamps here, it opens up and you can put the microphone through there. Elasticate it at the sides and Good build quality from what I can see so far and another locking mechanism here so you can adjust it like so and lock it into position so it doesn't come out of place. So good build to this. Okay, so the next item is a pop filter. Now this covers over the actual condenser mic so you're speaking in this direction and there's a clamp on the other side that clamps on to the adjustable suspension scissor arm. So all adjustable and stays in position quite well. And you've got a clamp here, again, very solid build quality to this, and rubber here and rubber here, just to avoid any sort of damage. So that connects onto there. Okay, next we've got a foam cap, and that's this item here, and that goes over the condenser mic, and it's just made of foam. Nothing too amazing about it, and just to show a good fit on there when it goes over. Okay, next you've got the phantom power, which is this device here. And on this, you'd plug in your USB connector there, which is just over here. You put your output on there, which is the cable over there, and the input to your actual condenser mic. Okay, build quality seems fine. Plasticky finish on there. Got a button there to power it on and power it off, and a power indicator there. And there you go. Okay, next you've got a USB cable and one end plugs into your computer and the other end plugs in to the phantom power. Build quality again is good on the cables, nice chunky connectors on there and cables are nice and thick, so which is nice. Okay, so next we've got the XLR cable. So this is a nice chunky cable. Connectors are really good on there as well, as you can see, 
gold plated on the end here that plugs into your PC and this plugs into the phantom power which is just here. Cable quality is very thick, connectors are very nice, well built, all metal on this side, so really good. Okay, so let's make a start at putting this together. So very straightforward, let's take the actual desk clamp and the scissor arm and this end here just plugs straight into there. If I push that on, we can just tighten that up and that's now securely in position. Next, we wanna attach the actual shock mount onto here. So I'll take that and that can just be turned into position. Okay, so next we can actually take the condenser mic and we can place it into the shock mount. Quite straightforward, just hold on to the clamps there and just put it into position and that grips it quite nicely. And the way you know the direction to put it in is just up here so the cable can go straight okay, into the back. Okay, next what we want to do is put on the actual pop filter. So that just clamps onto here. Okay, there you go. That's the basic construction of the item sorted. And next it's just connecting up the cables. That's pretty straightforward as well. So if I take the actual phantom power and on the back here, input would just go here. So I'll just turn that around, plug that in. Output would be here. So we'll take that and plug that straight in like so. That goes to your computer. USB connects in here. Okay, and finally, we'll connect the condenser mic at this end up. And that will just be a matter of taking this, lining up the actual holes that come there, and just plugging it in. There you go. That's the basic construction of it done. Okay, so I've attached the actual stand with the condenser mic on and connected the 3.5 mil jack into my computer just to show it actually in action. So in terms of movement, very nice and flexible, easy to move. And again, even the actual pop filter can move out of position quite easily and be readjusted. Now, in terms of attaching the actual pop filter, you should really attach it just to one pole. I did show it attaching to two and that's incorrect. Obviously that will restrict movement then because as I move it, these move together. So obviously keep that in mind. You can either use that or obviously use the actual foam and cover the condenser mic with that. But very nice and very professional looking, have to admit. Okay, so just to give you an idea of the actual sound quality you can expect from the microphone. So this is the sound you're hearing at the moment recorded from the microphone and I've overlaid it on this video just so you can see an example of the sound quality. I'm not too far away from the mic and I've got the pop filter over it. So just to give you an example of how the sound's going to be. So for a budget condenser mic for streaming or even for voiceovers, it's actually not too bad. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.